Mark spell in the past tense. My husband gives me an A for last night's supper, an incomplete for my irony, a B plus in bed. My son says an average, an average mother. But if I put my mind to it, I could improve. My daughter believes in pass and fail and tells me I pass. Wait till they learn, I'm dropping out. So basically the poem is about a woman who is being evaluated by her family, which includes her husband and her kids, by her performance um, according to them. So the whole idea is that the woman is trying her best to keep everybody happy because in general, mothers and wives try their best to keep their family content and everybody's pleased in the family. She doesn't want anybody to be sad or down. So the woman tries her best to keep the family happy. And her family is taking their opinion and they're giving her grades. So her husband gives her a B in bed. Her son says she's average. Those are all ideas that she's being graded by her family. So the speaker does not seem to be very happy about this whole idea of her family grading her on her performance as a mother. And we can see this through at the end of the poem, she says, I'm dropping out. This could imply many things and it's for the reader to think, but it could mean that she doesn't decide to leave her family because she can't take the pressure of being uh, graded and underappreciated by her family. Maybe she's gonna, to an extreme, commit suicide because she can't take the way her family is treating her and the way she's making her feel so underappreciated. So basically, this poem is about how this woman is so underappreciated by her family. She tries her heart, her hardest to make her family so happy, keep everybody in the best mood possible, but yet she can never do enough because she's always being judged by her own family, which is a bit sad when you think about it because she's trying her best to just make everyone happy and she, she can't even really do that properly because her family is constantly judging her and she always feels like she's being judged by everyone and just graded and she's never, what she does is just never appreciated by the people who are supposed to love her and care for her the most in the world, the way she does to them. I believe that the poem's literal meaning is that we shouldn't take advantage of our mothers because they do so much for us and yet we continue to judge them on what they do. And it's, it's hurtful, especially for a mother because she's trying to keep everyone happy and she's just continuously being judged. So I believe that the whole point of this poem is for the reader to understand that we cannot keep underappreciating our mother. I also believe that aside from the literal meaning of this poem, this poem can be seen as a metaphor for actually the grading system, the education system. We can see this because the mother, the woman, is being graded on what she's doing, which is kind of similar to the way we're being graded on what we're doing. We try our best and we study and we keep studying. It's never enough because we're always being judged by someone else who doesn't know the amount of effort we put in to make, to to get these marks. It's the same way. The mother puts in so much effort that they realize it, but they're judging her. It's the exact same thing with school. So the tone of the poem changes throughout. At the beginning of the poem, it starts with, my husband gives me an A for last night's supper. So in general, when someone receives an A, it's a good thing and it's positive, which could set the tone for it being a happy and a positive poem and everything is going to be um, fine. But as soon as the poem proceeds, and especially toward the end, the poem's tone changes completely. When she says, I'm dropping out, that's when the tone just shifts from a positive poem to a negative poem because technically dropping out is never a good thing and it's never seen as something positive but it's rather seen as something negative so that the poem's tone right there has a huge shift so the main reason I chose this poem is because I understand where the poet is coming from with the underappreciation of our mothers because it's it's true we all judge our mothers on what they do for us always complain we're never happy and we're never it's never good enough everything you do is never good enough and I, I understand why she'd write a poem like this because we really do underappreciate our mothers so much they do so much for us they always try to make us happy and yet we always always judge them and it's not right because our mothers gave us life they're the ones who put us on this earth and we should appreciate them for all they do even though maybe sometimes we don't agree with them and sometimes they're annoying they still are the people who put us on this earth and they still deserve the appreciation for what they give us and for all that they do for us. 
another reason that I, I kind of relate to this poem really well is because of school and how it relates to like the school aspect and the metaphor of it. Well, basically, in college and the last two years of high school, um, I really put in a lot, a lot, a lot of effort because I really wanted to do well and I really wanted to keep, like now I want to keep my R score up. So I write these papers, I put so much effort into them, and I end up getting a mark that I thought maybe I find to be a bit unfair, or I don't really agree with it because, uh, because of all the effort I put into it. And I feel like it could be seen as the unfairness of the grading system. Because we are graded on our ability to do something as compared to other people, which is not really fair. And that's why I find this poem really captures that really well. It captures the whole idea of the under underappreciation of mothers and how they're being graded, but it also captures captures the underappre underappreciation of students where they're constantly being judged by someone who doesn't know their capability and how much effort they put into what they did the same way that a mother puts in so much effort to what she does for her children and her children are constantly, constantly judging her.